Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. We continue our topic of hypersensitivity. Today we will be discussing type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. Students, to recall type 1, 2 and 3 hypersensitivity reactions, all three are antibody mediated. In type 1 hypersensitivity, IgE antibody was involved. In type 2 and type 3, IgG or IgM antibodies were involved. Now, type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. Students, type 4 hypersensitivity reaction has following hallmarks or characteristic features. Number one, it is cell mediated hypersensitivity. Type 4 hypersensitivity is cell mediated hypersensitivity. Number two, the main cells involved are T cells and both populations of T cells, helper T cells and number two, cytotoxic T cells. Both varieties of T cells play their role in type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. Third point. Macrophages are also involved. Number four, dendritic cells. Dendritic cells are also involved. These dendritic cells, students, they are present in the epidermis of the skin. Number five, cytokines. Cytokines, main cytokines being interleukin 2, interleukin 4, gamma interferons. Students, these five are the characteristic features of type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. I repeat, number one, type 4 hypersensitivity reaction reaction is their type of reaction which is cell mediated. The, the main cells involved are T cells, T lymphocytes, both populations of T lymphocytes, helper that is CD4 helper T cells and cytotoxic CD8 T cells. Number third point students, macrophages. Macrophages are involved in type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. Number 4, dendritic cells. Dendritic cells, they are also involved in type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. These dendritic cells, they are present in the epidermis of skin. Cytokines. Main cytokines involved are interleukin 2, interleukin 4, gamma interferons. Okay, students. Now keep one thing in mind, students. There is no role of neutrophils in type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. Although it involves non specific inflammatory cells, but there is no involvement of neutrophils. Other inflammatory cells are recruited at the site of hypersensitivity reaction at the site of antigen entry. Number two point students, mast cells are also involved in type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. But this involvement of mast cells in this case is very limited. Unlike type 1 hypersensitivity reaction where mast cells are suddenly destabilized they are destroyed with the release of chemical mediators. 
here in this case mast cells are not suddenly destabilized they release chemical substances which recruit other cells of inflammation at the site of hypersensitivity okay students we continue our discussion now there are different variants of type 4 hypersensitivity reaction students number 1 contact hypersensitivity it is also a mode of presentation of type 4 hypersensitivity reaction students in contact hypersensitivity cd8 cytotoxic t lymphocytes are involved in a major component and they destroy the target cells number 2 Tuberculin testing. Students, tuberculin testing indicates or it represents the delayed character of type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. And on this basis, type 4 is also called delayed hypersensitivity reaction. There is more involvement of macrophages in tuberculin testing along with CD4 helper T cells. Number third, granuloma type hypersensitivity. Students in this mode of presentation type 4 hypersensitivity reaction, macrophages, they are transformed into giant cells called epithelioid cells. And these epithelioid cells, they fuse together to form Langerhans type giant cells. It is the combination of these Lang hand type giant cells along with lymphocytes, fibroblasts, and connective tissue that this combination is called granuloma. Okay, students? And this granuloma is the hallmark of tuberculosis. Number four. Type 1 diabetes mellitus. Type 1 diabetes mellitus. Students, all these four types are modes of presentation of type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. You can also call these four points as clinical examples of type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. Okay, when you are asked in the viva, what are the clinical manifestations or clinical examples of type 4 hypersensitivity reaction, you must reply very confidently contact hypersensitivity or contact dermatitis. Tuberculin testing, granuloma hypersensitivity reaction and type 1 diabetes mellitus. Okay, students. Now, how the mechanism proceeds in type 4 hypersensitivity reaction? Students, mainly 
the antigen which enters the skin when it reaches the epidermis it becomes attached with the carrier proteins already present there and this entering antigen here is called hepten this hepten combines with carrier proteins in the epidermis of the skin now students this combination is called complete antigen complete antigen or conjugate antigen number third point recognition and processing by apcs antigen presenting cells after entering the hepten and formation of complete antigen this complete or conjugate antigen it is recognized and processed by the antigen presenting cells these antigen presenting cells these may be macrophages these may be dendritic cells present in the epidermis students migration of apcs antigen presenting cells to the lymph nodes apcs after recognizing and processing the conjugate antigen they migrate to the regional lymph nodes where they present the complete antigen to the t lymphocytes APCs present the complete or conjugate antigen to the T cells. Now there is release of cytokines. There is release of cytokines. which stimulates proliferation of t lymphocytes and activate macrophages okay students there is release of cytokines which stimulates the proliferation of t lymphocytes and macrophages are activated these are the six steps and now the last step these t cells and activated macrophages they migrate towards the epidermis and release inflammatory mediators and release inflammatory mediators and now in the last as a result of these inflammatory mediators 
the target cell is destroyed. Okay, students, you got these seven points. I repeat these seven points. Number one, first the antigen enters the skin and at this level the antigen is called heptan. It combines with carrier proteins present in the epidermis and forms complete antigen or you can say conjugate on antigen. Now this complete antigen it is recognized and processed by the antigen presenting cells which may be the macrophages or dendritic cells. Now these antigen presenting cells they present the complete antigen to the T cells. Okay? There is release of cytokines interleukin 2, interleukin 4, gamma interferons as a result of which there is increased proliferation increased stimulation of T lymphocytes and macrophages are activated more and more. Now students, these T lymphocytes and macrophages, they migrate towards the epidermis where the antigen has entered and they release certain inflammatory mediators and these inflammatory mediators then destroy the target cell or the offending antigen. This was briefly about type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. I hope you may, it made your concepts very clear about the type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. Thank you students. Allah Hafiz.